Back here live at Eddie D. Field Stadium, we're ready to get the Senior Day festivities underway. The 15 seniors are coming out on the field. They'll be honored individually by the team and the coaching staff. Fortunately, with COVID, no parents on the field, but they're Good in the stands. And, and field for with that, we'll turn it over to the, the public Park dress announcer the for Senior Waves. Day. And fans, at this time, we would like to recognize a number of Waves who are playing. Next up, Joe Caparis. Joe has been a presence behind the plate for the Waves for five years now. Over his career, he's compiled 104 crew base hits with 44 RBI, appearing in 155 games. He is joined today by his father, Peter, mother, Georgia, sister, Elizabeth, and Matt Giaconelli. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe Caparis. Next up, Cooper Chandler. Cooper made an immediate impact on the Pepperdine baseball program, earning 2018 Freshman All-American honors, as well as being named the WCC Freshman of the Year in the same season. This season, he's a 2.3 ERA over 15.2 innings. Joining Cooper today are his mother, Tammy, and father, Kirby. Ladies and gentlemen, Cooper Chandler. Next up, Brendan Sindrick. Over his career at Pepperdine, Brendan has been an enormous support to the team. He is a zero ERA through his four years and is a charismatic part of the Waves dugout culture. Ladies and gentlemen, Brendan Sindrick. Next up, Billy Cook. Billy joined the Waves and made his name known almost immediately. Over his career, he's a 275 batting average and has hit 20 home runs. This year, he shares the conference lead in home runs with 12. He is joined today by his father, Chuck, mother, Julie, brothers, Charlie and Danny, sister, Emily, grandfather, Dan, and grandmother, Barbara. Ladies and gentlemen, Billy Cook. <laughs> Next up, Jeremy Foray. Jeremy was one of the Waves' top arms out of the pen as a freshman, making 20 appearances, striking out 16 batters in 34 innings pitched. After battling through injury, he's been a huge part of the Waves' dugout. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeremy Foray. Next up, Trevor Franklin. Trevor has been in the embodiment of the Pepperdine Wave since he stepped foot on campus. Battling back after Tommy John surgery, Trevor has thrown 33.2 innings and struck out 18 batters in his time in a Pepperdine uniform. He is joined today by his father, Paul, mother, Jan, brother, Ryan, and sister-in-law, Amanda. Ladies and gentlemen, Trevor Franklin. Next up, Gunner Groan. Gunner came into his own during the shortened 2020 season, starting three games and compiling a 3-1 record. His .95 whip was the best on the team last year. He is joined today by his mother, Carrie, his father, Joel, and his two brothers, Bowden and Torsten. Ladies and gentlemen, Gunner Groan. Next up, Blake Harrison. Though he battled through injury during his time at Pepperdine, Blake has been a great dugout presence his entire time as a Wave. In his limited action, Blake has an 11.25 strikeouts per nine innings. Ladies and gentlemen, Blake Harrison. Next up, Skyler Limber. Skyler has been a great teammate in his time at Pepperdine, battling through injury throughout his career. His support has never wavered, always doing whatever he could for the program. Ladies and gentlemen, Skyler. Next up, Justin Lutz. Justin joined the Waves as a junior college transfer and was immediately thrust into a starting role. This year, he is tied with Billy Cook for the conference lead with 12 home runs on the season. Ladies and gentlemen, Justin Lutz. Next up, Mike Malinchak. Mike made an immediate impact after arriving on campus, a threat from both sides of the plate. He was thrust into a starting role in 2020's shortened season and hit 395 over 11 games. 
with a 970 OPS. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Malinchak. Next up, Michael Mahoney. Michael has been a part of the Waves family for going on six years now. He has racked up a career 2.5 ERA and has struck out 69 batters. He is joined today by his father, Sean, his mother, Meg, and his sister, McKenna. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Mahoney. Next up, Aron Bodlin. Aron has been a part of Pepperdine program for almost five years. Over those five years, he's amassed 173 hits and 73 RBI over 182 games played. Aron is joined today by his father, Warren, his mother, Andy, and his sister, Dahlia. Ladies and gentlemen, Aron Bodlin. Next up, Dane Morrow. Hailing from Malibu, Dane Morrow stepped onto Pepperdine's campus and made himself right at home. Over his four years, Dane has struck out 58 batters over 67.2 innings. Joining Dane today is his mother, Nadine. Ladies and gentlemen, Dane Morrow. And last but not least, Zach Vinci. As a student on campus, Zach was one of the greatest shortstops that Pepperdine has ever had on the field. In 2012, he was awarded the Brooks Wallace Award as the nation's best shortstop. After being drafted, Zach played in the major leagues for the Seattle Mariners and the Cincinnati Reds. He returned this year to finish his degree and was an undergraduate assistant. Ladies and gentlemen, Zach Vinci. Once again, let's have one final round of applause for this great class of waves. Congratulations to the senior class of 2021 and 2020 for Pepperdine Baseball. They're finishing up being honored on the field, getting a group photo. And then we'll have the third game of baseball to play. But for now, let's throw it to the highlights from yesterday's 8-4 win.